Hello. <laughs> Hi. I... <laughs> so I'm busy telling you my cat story. And, um, you know, when I moved over here to my new address, I um, was looking for a long time for a perfect place. And when I saw this picture of this house, there were two pillars and two lions in front of the house. And I just knew, yep, that's my house. I just knew it was, it was impossible. There's, you know, there was rows of people in front of me, literally hundreds of people, and I got the house. Um, and I really, truly, the first night that I slept here in this house, I slept so peacefully and I felt the difference in energy from where I was before and where I am now. It's much more rural in nature. And I was looking for cats um, because they are the perfect space holders. And we used to have cats and we don't anymore. And um, yeah, I found these two brothers and um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about it because I don't want to buy a cat in Mercury retrograde. Um, but on the other hand, I'm telling myself, well, you know, if this is um, meant to be. Um, so I, have, I am very happy that I found them and I can go and pick them up after Mercury retrograde. So, which I already asked. So they are very happy to bring them. They are willing to bring them. So um, I was busy manifesting today. I was really busy manifesting and um, uh, I think um, I wanted to speak to you today about manifesting and living in the 5D. So if you feel like, uh, you know, sharing some um, moments this past week that you had and maybe some um, yes, knowledge. Yes, Yes, great. Yeah. To try and make a nice transition about, uh, you mentioned um, Mercury retrograde. The Arcturians said not so long ago uh, that um, actually we have, we're better off focusing on how we feel within and the planets cannot affect us really. So any moment, it doesn't matter if you choose to believe so. So it, many people believe in the metro, Mercury retrograde. So I don't judge anything. I just say that uh, the Arcturians say that we should not be focused on planetary events and you can, or can, we are better off focusing on how I feel. And uh, this is what I do. So I don't focus at all on things taking place out there with planets. Only on full moon and new moon, I'm more like focused on doing some work, uh, manifestation work. And uh, this is the last transition to go where you go. So for me, uh, uh, it goes about, about uh, choosing to feel good in everything I do, 24-24 um, uh, if I can. Doesn't happen always, of course, to go like uh, in this energy to feel good all the time. There are like uh, moments where this intense energy is coming on the planet and then I have to adapt and I do this generally with some meditation. I go within 15-20 minutes or more. And then this is like helping to surf the, the, uh, the waves of ascension with ease. And uh, well, I've been doing we've been doing this for many years now, so I've become more and more. Uh, uh, it's it's easy now for me. It's like I feel right away the changes. And uh, this I say because uh, uh, for creating abundance in our lives, we we have to be uh, constantly aware uh, of the energies within to feel good. And uh, the moment to catch ourselves not being in that energy, we have to really get up again and really take take control of how we feel because anything in life what, whether it is abundance in uh, relations or monies or uh, anything we want to attract it's always about once once we ask for it it's already here it's already given so so then the, the next st stage is to allow this to come to us and and then uh, how do we allow it how do we uh, speed up the, the process of manifestation is by constantly feeling good because feeling good is feeling the attraction of feeling good is the frequency of abundance so so this is basically what I do I have developed a with 
through a lot of reading, a lot of books about the law of attraction, and also I do a lot of uh, uh, personal uh, work I have been doing that I, I really feel that it works. So I'm combining techniques and tips and, and different ways of doing it. And basically, I am playful during the whole day in my mind. So I create more and more games and I create like my intention is to have fun, more fun in my days. And uh, and then this is like inner inner work that I do basically more and more now. I'm really having fun with that To I believe that we are very powerful in our creations. So we don't need to do like like specific physical action for things to manifest. We can also do it through a vibration. We constantly, instead of doing, we are more into the state of beingness. So feeling good is it, it's like being, being in the state of allowing. And uh, this is basically how, how, how I work with it and how I more and more I start seeing uh, tangible manifestation of what is that I'm creating. So do you want to speak about last week? What happened or two days ago, or yesterday or today? Or oh my gosh, I already forgot what happened uh, yesterday and two days okay. ago because every single day is so amazing uh, going forward. Uh, please remind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so uh, uh, basically lately I'm focusing on this uh, 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 work I'm doing to manifest uh, uh, financial abundance, uh, um, not specifically really doing physical things and not uh, engaging with um, uh, exchange of service because as you know we are space holders so we are doing already a work of service to others just by holding the space. So I've been focusing more on creating, um, uh, attracting uh, finances through an inner work I'm doing. So, so I say that I'm going to share the whole, the whole uh, uh, experience and the way I do it when it's really working for me. So what I shared with you before is that uh, only by doing this work already since uh, six days already. Uh, yesterday I had like an email, I received an email. And uh, the email was saying that uh, I had like 118,000 euros in my account. So we can name it a glitch. I call it uh, uh, a manifestation in the quantum energies because the quantum field energies is like the more we imagine it. So I have a special way of imagining it, getting into this energy and feeling it and feeling it more and more. So there it starts to become part of my reality and it manifests in this way. So this is not an error in my perspective. So as manifestation take a place that is in progress. So so this is like something that happened to me just just now. And then of course I have small monies coming to me, but this is about manifesting bigger amount of monies. Yeah. So yes, it's interesting uh, approach. So I'm very exciting to do these things. I'm very excited Absolutely. to getting to this energy. Um, of course, I've known you for many, many years. And um, would you like to speak a little bit? Because I, I find that manifesting goes hand in hand with really, really understanding the holo uh, holographic projection that we are living in. I think this is key. Would you like to speak about that a little bit more? Yes, I mean, the holographic projection we, we speak of, there are basically there are two of them. I mean, the holographic projection is the 3D matrix we have experienced. Uh, but yet we can see now more and more in these times we're living that this is now collapsing. We see it more and more happening around us. And then we have this, this 4D, 5D holographic uh, reality taking place which is like manifesting, which is like the way forward. And those of us who are doing certain inner work daily, then we can feel it. And, and, and then we can also see it around us. So there is like, there is like tangible uh, manifestation taking place if we pay attention enough to it to see it. So, so yeah. we, we perceive more and more that this is an inner work. So what we feel inside is manifesting outside in the outer world, not the other way around. And the more we focus on this, so we don't focus on, on what's taking place, on what is, we focus on creating the new. 
The more we do this work, the more we see things manifesting. Small things, but these small things are becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. The more we focus on these small things. Like you were speaking about your cats manifesting them. So you manage to manifest, you man manage to manifest your house. So this is yes, small things, right. but not so small mm -hmm. because actually you are a master manifest manifester and you applied certain ways of doing it. It's your own technique and it, it works. So we can, I know because I know where you come from and in a few months you changed your life completely. It's not an easy thing to change address to go to a new place and you have kids. So wow. It's like, wow, amazing work we did. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, for me, it's going back to what you already said, uh, keeping the vibrations high. Yes. It's all about vibration. It's all about a frequency. If everybody gets this, it's frequency all around, right? So if... Um, we all have a soul signature, we all have a frequency. And uh, we are living uh, at this moment some truly amazing epic times. We are at this moment, we are living in a 3D, but also in 5D and sometimes 7D for some people, not a lot of people, but you know, we, we, we get there. Um, the black boxes that were on uh, the earth that were cased here, we won't go into that, but um, almost all of them are gone. So, which, uh, which means that uh, our frequency as a planet, as people, um, the animal kingdom, the elemental kingdom, we are raising our vibration and we are going higher and higher. And, um, at the moment, you know, you and I are functioning outside of the holographic projection. And once you start um, functioning or vibrating above the 3D projection, then you have the gift of creating. Then you have the, then you can project your future. You can project your dreams and your wishes. And um, that is what we are talking about. Um, uh, um, for me, this is what it's about. And it's so powerful. And I think it's something that a few people really understand. Um, because uh, um, when you and I, when you and I um, ask for more abundance, for you and I, it's it's for the collective. Everything that we do is not is never for ourselves, but it's it's for the whole of humanity. And you are, you know, you um, you. I always hear you saying it's an inner job. It's an inner job, and I think this is key because once you realize that you are part of the whole, we are part of the whole. We are connected. But by getting there, we have to go through the heart and through the inner uh, dualism, through the inner uh, pathway, the heart flame. Through the heart flame, you are connected to the all and through the cre and to the creator uh, uh, consciousness that we will speak about in a in a different uh, in a different topic. But what I found is. You know, um, if you know that, then the question is really, how do you raise your vibration? And I know that you have some fabulous techniques, which we also share in our retreats. Um, how do you raise your vibration? Okay, so um, I will uh, speak basically uh, um, first of the most important ones. Um, uh, basically, um, all of the work I'm doing, it's always for the highest good for all. So it is never doing the work only for myself. So every time I start doing a meditation, I always, uh, the intention is always to uh, invite the higher self of every man, woman and child. So I'm basically, basically, as I do the work for myself, I'm also uplifting the whole. There is a a nice mantra that is, was given to us by uh, Archangel Michael through Patricia Cotarobles. 
and uh, and then um, as I do this work, I know that I am I am assisting the collective. One person connected to source is more powerful than millions who are not, and and yet we are helping uplifting the collective by just one person fo focusing. So when you are like a tribe of people doing this work together at the same time, then it's very powerful work we're doing. So I'm in a few groups here and there on a, on a planetary level that we are doing uh, work synchronistically. So this is the most powerful ones that I feel that uh, we are doing really some amazing work on many different levels. And then uh, my 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 daily practice is like I, um, I, I, I woke up, all, I wake up mainly around, I sleep like, uh, interrupted so I go to bed usually at 10 o'clock and then I wake up at around two or three or four and then I I do my meditation as I wake up first thing I do I do meditation so I go within for at least uh, half an hour maybe one hour it depends how I feel and then if I want to sleep again I go back to sleep and then and then I wake up again and I do some some other practices, not really meditation, but being in a place of gratitude, for example. So I make lists of being grateful for all the things there is in my in my life. And then and then every morning, the second, let's say, uh, sleeping uh, uh, um, phase, when I wake up and I do this gratitude thing, I, I, I write down things and I start dancing for at least five or ten minutes. Because for me, dancing is really part of who I am. So for me, dancing is meditation and it's also taking physical action. So every day I wake up, the second time I wake up, I really dance. I'm dancing, I put the music on and I have my soundtrack and I just get in the movement. And then this is amazing. Like I can feel how much the gratitude combined with physical movement dancing creates like a field of magnetic attraction that I feel during the whole day is really coming with me, this gratitude. Because as I, as I dance, I also get in this gratitude place. And I'm, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything, for all the things I know, the things I don't know. And then this is like, this basic discipline I have, like first thing in the morning, wake up, first sleep, meditate, then go back to sleep again. Maybe do some astral traveling. When I when I sleep next second time, I, astral, I travel somewhere. So maybe I have some dreams, maybe I remember, maybe I don't. <laughs> and then second thing, I do this gratitude. Then I have this this setup, this this thing in my integrated this this thing in my day that my day starts really, really, really easy. And then everything starts to come. But I mean, I'm really feeling good already when I start the day. And then during during the day, I have also some specific moments. It depends. Uh, where I, if I know, for example, there's like some light work is drawing, working at a specific time, doing some work somewhere on the planet for some specific reasons, I connect with them as well at the same hour for 15 minutes and doing some work again. So it's like maybe 15 minutes, but I feel that this disciplined way of being into meditation a few times in the day, it really helps me to keep energy, to keep feeling good during the whole day. So there's no like no shifts and then and then even if people can be like uh speaking to me things that are not really nice or polite uh i don't react I'm, i really feel very strong like uh, i can tell you an example like I, I want to pick up a friend with a car and then uh, and then um, i stopped in a place where there was like a, a not, not allowed to park and there was a taxi driver from behind and i was wrong i was wrong <laughs> and then he came, he was so angry and he kept looking at me and he was, he was so angry. But then I know, you know, I just turn around and look at him and then, and then I don't react. I'm just full of love, you know, I was like full of love. And he looked at me like for, for at least 20 seconds, he was like, like this, and then he couldn't say nothing. And then I was like, wow, you know what, this is like the meditation, does it work? Because if somebody was at work with me now, she would be like, what are you looking, you know, like, why, <laughs> what are you looking at? And then the taxi driver left. He didn't say nothing. He left. He felt like this energy. So I feel this is very powerful stuff to not engage with energies around us. And and uh, that's just basically how I do it. This is my, my ritual, my daily discipline yeah. every day.
Wonderful. You know, uh, you just spoke about something so important and it's not engaging. Not engaging yeah. in the, the drama anymore. Not engaging in the, you know, anything that brings you down, the 3D. And um, what I found is, you know, people are playing out their lives. They are playing out their patterns. They are playing out their perception of, you know, what their life should be like. And um, I think it's become so easy to see, to see this, or well, for, for us, uh, it has. Has. It's become so crystal clear, um, and I've heard other people also speak about it. The the um, the dualism has completely. Um, I can't say uh, it, it's just so in your face. It's just so clear, and I think when people uh, really understand that the the the, the light and the darkness needs to be accepted both in the heart in the uh, in the soul then it's so easy to send that love that you were doing you were just sending and you were probably blaze 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 the violet flame you were probably you know you i know you take the the violet flame wherever you go so do i and um this works it works so well and it works even better when you come together as a group and you have the same intention, that is very powerful. Um, so I, um, we were thinking about, or we are going to uh, have a um, webinar, the two of us, and uh, we can um, do a class of how to raise your vibration. We will do a few practical practices uh, with some uh, fun stuff, um, with music, and then we can go into how to uh, um, apply this in your life and abundance, and whatever, maybe it's something else for somebody, uh, they want to manifest something else, but we are going to have a one hour abundance or manifestation workshop, and um, Maybe we can give a small demonstration of a meditation or whatever you want to do now. Yes, we can. We can. Uh, <clears throat> we can do this uh, uh, very uh, nice uh, uh, meditation that involves the subconscious because uh, I have found out that basically there is like, of course, I think that everybody has have seen the movie The Secret. And the secret speaks about the law of attraction, how it works. And then many people uh, realize that even if they remain in this place of gratitude the whole day, they don't get really to manifest exactly what is that you want. Like, like, like manifest a pile of money, for example. Why doesn't it happen? Because sometimes it's like a, a subconscious uh, a, a obstacle, like, like something blocking the energy. So. I, I, I can share something with you now that I think is very powerful to share with everybody. It's a nice gift. So we can go within and uh, um, breathe in, in and out rhythmically. And then uh, as we breathe in and out, we visualize ourselves uh, in front of a building. And you see like a stair with many steps, you visualize there how you want. And you start to walk the stair from the top to the bottom, breathing in and out. So we say that we are from zero to 100, so we go at uh, level 20. Breathing in and out. And as you go down the stairs, we go deeper within. Deeper in our psyche. Breathing in and out. 
and going down to level 40, minus 40. Getting deeper. In connecting with our soul. Breathing in and out and walking down the stairs. Level 60. Walking down the stairs, level 80. Walking deep within, level 100. And we are front, in front of a door. And we visualize this door, how it looks like. And uh, we take a key from our pocket. And we put the key into the hole, the keyhole. And we turn the key. And we notice if, when you turn the key, if the, the, the sound that it makes, when you turn this key, you open the door. Is the door making noise or not? Then we come into this space. This is the deeper subconscious space. And we see uh, the energy of abundance. It's there present. It's been waiting for us to be recognized as an energy of love. We can also see the energy of money. Money is also an energy of love. And you say to abundance or to money, I love your abundance, I love your money, and I welcome you in my life now. It's like some old friend that we forgot that is an old friend, then we welcome in our life again without carrying any negative feelings about it or anything that has been given to us from family, maybe or friends or anything. We just welcome this energy in our life. And you feel the heart, we are heart with this love, this specific energy of abundance, prosperity, the money energy. Then we turn around now. And we use the key again to lock the door this time. And we notice the sound it makes this time. When we close the door and when we turn the key, what kind of sound it makes. Then we start walking up the stairs from level 100 up to 80. Level 80, level 60 now, level 40, level 20, and you come up again, breathing in and out, and we can open our eyes when we feel ready. Hi, that was a nice uh, example. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Yeah, I um, would like to invite everybody that uh, would like to join us to um, learn how to manifest and also some key, um, some important things to know about what not universe does not manifest and um, I think that will be very interesting to uh, to talk about and also the different um, dimensions and uh, what the possibilities are within them and uh, yeah so uh, we'll set a date for that and um, we'll put that on uh, Facebook and Insta I will share with you really some basic stuff that really works. So you will see that if you apply it, it starts to work right away. So really, it really works. So uh, it does. Have, we will I, talk about have, tuning in. I have proven this to myself, so I will be sharing only stuff that I know it works. So you will apply it and you will see it really works. So it's not like something like uh, difficult to do. It's really something applying and it's very easy to do basically. And Excellent. trust, and, and and it's also it's for the highest good for all. So it makes sense that when you go in this energy, then it it manifests. It has no other way. <laughs> yes, exactly. And uh, we will also be doing energy work for anybody that needs some attuning to let go of programs that are still running. Um, any programs that are not uh, benefiting you anymore, you know, maybe poverty consciousness or anything else from previous lives, I will be doing that. And uh, also just welcoming in uh, into um, the cosmic heart abundance for all. And uh, you know, this is so powerful. It's already there. All is already there. It's just for us simply to tune into um, that frequency so um, we'll be speaking about the frequency of uh, abundance and also just how to manifest so we'll see everybody there Bye. we're gonna have fun we're gonna yeah. have fun at the same time also uh, i believe that what you say it is very important to do this subconscious work to really release all this energy from behind you know that this is like i believe the main reason that things don't manifest for most of people i know yeah. So very, very, very important this part of what you say that you have to share. Very important. And I'm looking forward to that as well. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you.